What's up, Raf gang? It's Raf in the Raf cave. Welcome back to another reaction. Now, if you guys haven't heard of Screen Rant, their channel, uh, they bring out these uh, pitch meeting videos, and they're absolutely hilarious. I love watching them all. I laugh my ass off when I watch them. And I want to do a reaction uh, to this particular video from, from Screen Rant. It's called Mortal Kombat, the pitch meeting for this movie. And it's, it's going to be funny because there's two guys, a producer and the writer or the pitch guy, whatever, talking to the studios to create uh, the movie. So, and they go back and forth on, is that going to work? If that's going to work, just don't worry about it. Keep going, blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it's just awesome. Let's check it out, guys. I'll leave a link in the description of the real video in the description below or the, uh, the link to it. And if you want to subscribe to them, absolutely go ahead. All right, let's check this out. Pitch meeting for Mortal Kombat. Let's go. So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. Mortal Kombat. Oh, that's that game where you mash a bunch of buttons and then somebody's spine explodes and you need a bit of therapy. That's the one, sir. So I figure since the game is still super popular, we make a movie about it. It has been a while since we tried that, so what happens in this thing? Well, we're gonna start the movie in 1617 Japan, right? And Sub-Zero's gonna show up and kill Scorpion's family. Oh, extremely rude. Very impolite. For sure. And so in Chinese, Sub-Zero's gonna be like, hey, I ended your bloodline, you sucker. And Scorpion's gonna be like, I'm Japanese. I have no idea what you're talking about, but let's fight. Oh, boy. So then they do fight, and Sub-Zero ends up stabbing Scorpion real bad and then leaving. Or Hanzo. Guys love leaving before making sure their enemy's really dead. Yeah, and so if he had stuck around, he would have seen that Scorpion was crawling towards his hidden baby and then turns into fire and disappears. Ah, so the bloodline is still going. Exactly. And then after that really intense first scene, everything's gonna kind of go down downhill from there. Sure, Ooh. if we start strong, we'll have people's attention and we could kind of stop trying story-wise from there on out. We're gonna meet this not very good MMA fighter named uh, Young, man. right? Oh, I don't remember him from the game. That makes sense, because I made him up. Oh, you did? Well, because this way the audience is gonna have someone to identify with, you know? Someone who's learning the rules of the world at the same time. You know, someone and to follow. Like a hundred Mortal Kombat characters, can't we just pretend like one of them is learning about this world for the first time? We <laughs> could, but instead we're gonna spend a bunch of time developing this guy and his family. Is that gonna take screen time away from the characters that fans came to see? Oh, most definitely. A ton of it. Well, okay then. So that was actually a descendant of Scorpion. Move along. He has this little dragon birthmark on him and he keeps seeing flashes of Scorpion when he looks in the mirror. Okay. And because of this mark, Sub-Zero's gonna show up and try to kill him. Oh no. But then this guy Jax is gonna show oh, up. Oh no. He's gonna be like, hey, you gotta go find Sonya Blade and don't stay with your family because dark forces will murder them. Sounds like solid advice. It is. And so then Sub-Zero rips off Jax's arms and leaves before making sure he's dead. Oh, so that's like this guy's whole thing. It is. So then Cole goes to <laughs> he just leaves. Sonya Blade and she has a whole wall of exposition to show him. I mean, she's all equipped for this exposition dump. So what does Cole learn? Well, there's this big tournament between a bunch of realms and this bad guy Shang Tsung wants to kill all the champions before the tournament because he's a big fat cheater. So what decides <laughs> who's a champion? Oh, he's only done it nine times. The mark is a champion <laughs> and either you're born with it or you kill someone who has so if you kill someone who has a mark, you automatically get it. Exactly. That's what happened with this criminal guy, Kano, that Sonya captured. So like if a 95-year-old <laughs> so grandpa accidentally runs over a champion, he will then have to fight to defend the Earth realm? Yeah, I guess so. Well, let me ask you something. Can we make that movie instead? Well, I kind of worked hard on this one. Fair enough. So what else happens? So anyway, Kano knows where this is. We don't need Mortal Kombat, just this temple, other movie. So they all head to that general area. Okay. And then this guy, Liu Kang, shows up and he's like, it's my job to find champions and I found you guys. I mean, sounds like they're pretty much there. He didn't really do any of the work. Yeah, well, he's gonna take credit for it. Good for him. So then this Raiden guy's gonna be like, all At right, we all have this thing called Arcana. It's like a superpower. You gotta unlock it, and that'll help you in the tournament. Okay, okay. But Sonya doesn't have a mark, but she still gets to hang out. Wah, wah. Out. Raiden sounds like a pretty chill guy. He's not. Great oh, scene, okay. too. So they start training a whole bunch, and Kano, he unlocks a laser beam eyeball. He's real happy about it. Thanks to the egg roll. Manage that. Arguing about <laughs> What? But then things aren't really what? working out for Cole because he's the worst. So Raiden is like, all right, you got to get out of here, Cole. Go back to your family. Yeah, he's you like, suck. All right, I'm going home.
home now. Bye. But there are still dark forces uh. coming for him because of the mark, right? Yeah. So he goes back to his family. But his old thing about going was so that they'd be safe. Yeah, he forgot about that part, so he goes back to his family. Well, okay then. <laughs> I gotta be awake. Is gonna be sent to kill him. <laughs> oh, I remember. Oh Goro. man. He was like a big boss guy gonna be tough to beat him. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Super Family's easy. Convenience. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. Yeah, so when Cole's family's in danger, that's when he unlocks his superpowers. So he defeats Goro, no problem. Superpower. Uh, so he becomes Scorpion. Now oh yeah. Outfit made entirely of oh. hot armor. Okay, kind of hot like hot you armor. Becoming Scorpion. Yeah, that may have seemed like the cooler and more logical. Oh yeah, you think? Towards, but instead, Cole is gonna transform it to Cole with a cooler sweater. Sure, that may as well happen. Anyway, so meanwhile, Kano <laughs> betrays everybody and lets the bad guys into Raiden's temple. Oh no. So they start kicking oh, everybody's no. butts and that Shang Tsung guy grabs this guy Kung Lao. What's he gonna do to him? Well, this one guy's like, oh, he's about to get his soul sucked. Oh, get his soul sucked. <laughs> soul sucked. Don't say it. <laughs> oh, okay, so please, so. please stop. It's just that's kind of my thing. Every meeting I say that something is tight. I know. It's just kind of my catchphrase. I'm going to feel weird all day if I don't get it out. Yeah, no, I know. It's just sometimes it's random, but sometimes it's kind of gross. So maybe just get it out later when I'm gone. Oh, getting it out later when you're gone is tight. Oh, okay, so then what happens? <laughs> so then Raiden teleports all the good guys oh, to this God. white void where the bad guys can't go. What, there's Budget a cuts? white void where the bad guys can't go? Why didn't they train there? Well, because there's this whole thing where Raiden's not allowed to intervene, but he's intervening now. He is, yeah. Okay. So the group is like, listen up guys, we need to fight these bad guys again, but this time, we gotta win. How? What's changed? Well, see, the movie's almost over, so all the good guys are gonna be much better fighters now. Oh, okay, great. Also, that Jax guy had little robot chicken arms, but dink, now he dink. has big, big, big <laughs> robot arms. How did that happen? Magic. Magic gave him robot arms? Magic gave him robot arms, that's right. So then one of the good guys is like, hey Raiden, you can teleport anyone anywhere right he can do what he can teleport anyone anywhere. <laughs> what so he's like okay i'm gonna teleport these bad guys to various locations and then we'll fight them why doesn't he teleport the bad guys into a volcano or to the bottom of the ocean okay so see that would be an instance where he couldn't intervene but he can separate them with teleportation so they're defeated in battle that's right so does he teleport each bad guy to a different location and have all the champions gang up on that person and just kind of work his way through the line like that no see that's a way he wouldn't be able to intervene oh i'm very unclear on how this guy <laughs> I'm very unclear. So what does he do? Well, he sends them all to like 1v1 fights, because that's like the game, kind of. That's like the game, kind of. It is. So then Sonya's gonna defeat Kano and get her superpowers <laughs> Look at that smile. How come she gets her superpower at the same time as her mark? I don't know. Fair enough. And then <laughs> Zero's gonna she no training involved. family, which is maybe something oh, that people will care about. Maybe. And then Scorpion's so gonna OP her rings. Hell and he's gonna be like, get, get over here. Did he take English lessons in hell? <laughs> Just for that particular Particular line. Lessons in hell, that's right. So then they're gonna have this really cool fight while Cole just assaults his frozen family in the background. What? And then they're gonna team up and manage to defeat him. Oh, wow, wow, Ooh, wow, 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 So yeah, that's about it. What do you think? Wait, so Whoa. a bunch of the big bad guys were killed? They were, yeah. So if we want to make a sequel, we can't use any of those guys. Well, we're gonna well... say that death is just another portal, so. Oh, so none of this mattered. Yeah, none of this mattered, and we could just keep making more and more and more and more of these. I mean, let's not get crazy. Okay. <laughs> but so what do you think? It did get crazy though. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Oh, yeah okay. <laughs> Five movie contract. Let's go. Let's go. Good dude. Thank you very much for making that video. That was hilarious and uh, pretty accurate. Ah, they're funny. I like watching those. So I'm gonna put this out there. See if it sticks. And uh, if you guys like me uh, watching these others, let me know. Uh, but yeah, that was pretty. It's pretty hilarious. Uh, wow. 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 Yeah. Anyway, guys, you have a great day. Thanks for watching this. Like, subscribe, share. See you in the next one. Home Theater Rules. Raph out. See you guys.